Welcome to my channel. I'm Karina. I'm so glad you're here. Um, this is a channel for young professional women. Mostly I focus on um, natural, simple, classy, wearable makeup looks that you can use for all of your outfits and occasions. Um, but I kind of wanted to start a new series for wine. And um, I think I'm just going to call it wine of the week or if you can think of something punnier then you can let me know below. It's a topic that I'm interested in and I know my girlfriends and I talk about it a lot and we love to exchange different wine recommendations and um, yeah it's just really fun to discover different types of wine together and um, have good recommendations for a reasonable price point. When you're sticking to like a uh, kind of more reasonable price range, there are a lot of like hits and then there's a lot of misses. So if you don't really know, if you just walk into the liquor store or a wine store um, and you're looking for a bottle for say $16 or something, a lot of them are great, but sometimes they're just not great and then you've wasted a bunch of money. So I'm gonna do this series and just recommend one wine that I know is good, that I drink and my girlfriends drink or it's a being a wine that someone's recommended to me that I really like and then I can um, yeah just film it kind of talk about it a little bit and then hopefully give you guys that recommendation so you can enjoy it too so I think this goes without saying but I'm not a sommelier and I'm not even a wine connoisseur but I do like learning about it and um, I like getting recommend recommendations from other people so I hope that I can just um, give recommend recommendations to you and hope that you can enjoy them too. So I think I'll do one wine a week that um, I've already tried multiple times and know that I really like and I'm always going to keep the price range or the price point between $15 and $25 because I think that you can you can definitely get really, really good wines in that price range. You just have to kind of know which ones to get. It's kind of like going to the drugstore and buying makeup. Like if you know what you're doing or someone else has recommended something to you that you already know is going to be good, then you can get some really good makeup for a lower price point. But if you have no idea what you're doing, you walk in, it's overwhelming and you just kind of grab a few products here and a few products there at the drugstore, then you're going to get probably more misses than you will hits. I haven't quite decided yet, but I think I'll post these videos on either Thursday or Friday so that you can go out and buy the wine and have it for the weekend. Right now though, I doubt it really matters what day of the week it is because I think people are drinking a lot more, drinking a lot more wine, um, especially if you've just been home all the time and you're not going out anymore. Um, yeah, I think people are kind of tending to do that. So hopefully these wine recommendations, I can't say the word recommendation. Hopefully these wine recommendations will um, come in extra handy for you. So typically in the winter, I like to drink um, more reds and just like everyone else, I think. In the winter, I like to drink a little bit more of the red wines and then in the summer, I'll switch over to whites. I'm not a huge rosé person. I like white wine better, but I have been getting into rosés a little bit more. Um, but it's, it's spring, but it's not quite warm here where I am in Calgary. So um, tonight I decided to share with you a Pinot Noir. This Pinot Noir was made in the Okanagan in Lake Country at the Grey Monk Winery. And I'm from the Okanagan, I'm from BC, and I've been to this winery a couple times, and it's, it's a beautiful winery. And I've tried uh, multiple wines of theirs, and they're all, honestly, they're all really good. But um, tonight, I just wanted to share the Pinot Noir. Okay, I'm just gonna read the description of the Pinot Noir, and I just got this off of the Grey Monk website, just so you can kind of get an idea of what this Pinot is like. So I just have it on my phone here. Um, this Pinot Noir has a bright ruby red color and a bouquet of red cherry and red currant fruit, accented by notes of earth, oak, and a touch of spice. The light to medium bodied frame is supported by soft, elegant tannins and food friendly acidity. Juicy cherry and red berry flavors evolve on the palate and linger on the finish with an added note of earth and delicate spice. So that's what they have to say about it. Um, I'm gonna taste it and kind of describe it to you just how I would describe it to you in layman terms. Yeah, 
yeah, so it's it's really nice. Um, it's definitely more on, I, I would say it's kind of in between the light medium body and um, it definitely is more on that earthy side than a fruity side. So I would personally, I think maybe I wouldn't just have this as a sipping wine, but I think it would go really, really good with cheeses, especially like old, um, like aged cheddar and aged cheeses or strong flavored cheeses um, or just dinner or something. But yeah, it's really more like earthy, it's kind of spicy, but the flavor that I pull out of this the most is that it almost tastes smoky. Um, yeah, one sec. Yeah, definitely smoky. It's not sweet at all. Yeah, it's easy to drink. If you like Pinot Noirs and you're not um, as much into like the fruity wines, then I think you would really like this. Um, on the Grey Monk website, this uh, sells for $19.99. I looked it up on Zinn, which is a liquor store in Calgary. I don't honestly, I should look this up. I don't know where else they're located. I know we have a few here, but they are like a physical store you can go into and um, buy a bunch of wines and different types of liquors. Um, but you can also just pre-order everything online and they'll ship it in for you and then you can go and pick up your order. So I looked it up on Zen and it was $18, $18.50. So yeah, between $18, $20 and um, yeah, it's just a really nice Pinot Noir. Yeah, so I definitely recommend this one, especially if you are um, doing like a charcuterie board with your friends, then I think this one would be perfect. In my head, it would go really well with cheeses. All right, that's it. I'm gonna keep these videos pretty short. Um, I'd love to know if you tried this wine. Comment below if you have, or if you have been to the Grey Monk Estates Winery. It's really pretty. It overlooks the Okanagan Lake, and it's actually, it's a really big winery, and it's quite well known. These Grey Monk wines are pretty easy to find in most places I go to. I think I even got this one at Costco. So, um, but yeah, let me know if you've tried it and if you have, if you like it or not. Let me know as well what your personal favorite Pinot Noir is. Pinot Noir is like one of my favorite wines and so I would love to know what you like for Pinots. Thanks for watching and if you share a love of wine with me, then please like my video and subscribe for more wine recommendations and more content for just young professional women um, and career girls and can't wait to see you in my next video.